Hello makeup lover and welcome to my channel or oh, welcome back if you've already been here before. If not, my name is Meline. I'm a Danish makeup artist living in Barcelona in Spain. For today's two different looks, I pull out this guy here. I'm just gonna see if it's in frame. The Yucca palette from Natasha Denona. It was about time I got it, right? Uh, but I was thinking, hmm, I kind of like already have these colors and is it really that special? But when I saw I could get 30% uh, off in Sephora, I went for it because it is super beautiful and I'm happy I got it. So if you want to see my take on looks with the Yoka palette, then hang in there and I will show you. So. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or good ideas for future content, please put it in the comment box. And of course, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Now, let's go ahead and do some makeup, shall we? To begin with, I'm gonna put on a little bit of citrine with my Blender Pro, and I'm gonna put it here in my crease. like so. Next color is going to be the Tipo with my mini booster and I'm going to put that a little bit lower down here closer to the crease. I'm just going to move back and forth back and forth and blend it out a little bit and up into the citrine. Dipped into the flax with my Builder S, and I'm going to put that here in the outer corner and in the inner corner here. And I'm just stamping it on. And then I'm going to diffuse it a little bit here. Next color on my Builder S is the Calathea. And I'm gonna put that here on top of the brown and mix it in with that. For some reason, my camera stopped filming, but I put on a little bit of macchia with my ring finger. I'm just gonna put on a little bit more here so you can see what I was doing. It's just pressing it on and into the other color the green it on my under eye I'm gonna put the Calathea with my builder S the same brush as I used before and I'm just going all the way in like so Let's make the inner corner pop, shall we? Same brush, now with the Camu Camu. Here we go. I'm gonna give this eye look an eyeliner and I'm just gonna use the black coffee from Pat McGrath liquid eyeliner it's a dark brown I put on a little bit of mascara on my upper lashes and now I'm gonna go in with the electric jade and that's a green mascara and I'm gonna put that on the bottom lashes here I'm just gonna try and see if I can keep my head up while doing this And it's not going to be super obvious, but when you come close, you can see it and it gives a cool addition to the look, I think. Really coating my lashes here. <laughs> Put on some false lashes and this is what it looks like. I'm now going to go on to the next eye. 
For the next eye look, I'm going to start out with Fuji on my Blender Pro. That's the most yellow shadow in the palette. And I'm just going to put it here in my crease. I'm starting by pressing it on like so. And then I'm going to go in window. No, I keep saying window. <laughs> Windshield wiper. What? How, now I suddenly don't remember what you call it. This this motion. <laughs> Windshield wiper motions, right? Not window wiping. Although you are wiping a window. But yeah, whatever. Just do this, okay? <laughs> Pretty yellow. Next color is going to be the Ixia. And I'm using my mini booster here to put that into the crease and up to the other color. I don't know if you would call it like, it, it reminds me of some acid or mustard or yeah, French mustard. Like so. Dip my soft definer into flax and I'm going to put that directly in the crease here and go back and forth in the windshield wiper motion. And then I'm going to close it off here on the outer corner of my eye. Just going in some kind of circle of motions here going inwards. Dip my soft definer into valley and um, I am trying to decide where to put it. You know what? I'm going to put it here. Um, kind of the outer part here into flax and mixing them together. Komorabi, if that's how you say it, is a very pretty shade, so why not put that here on the inner part and mix it into valley and this is what it looks like so far. With my soft definer, I'm now going to put some flax under my eye. I'm just going to more or less go all the way, not all the way into the inner corner, but like two thirds. Dip my builder S into Komorabi or Komorabi. I don't know how to say it. I feel so stupid, but I guess it's not like an everyday word. It's not a word that I use in my everyday vocabulary anyway. So this is it. I'm not going to put a little bit of mascara on. Back with a little bit of mascara on and this is what it looks like. I'm now going to put on some false lashes. Back with some lashes on and this is what it looks like. If you feel like it's a little bit too yellow, it's a little bit too mustard, you can take your blender brush and just try and blend it out just a little bit. Like so, that helped a little bit. You can also dip that blender brush into Camo Camo and put that up here. If you want to transform it to be a little bit more green, just up here in the border, on the border. Now I'm not going to change anything up. <laughs> I think I'm done. So I'm going to go off cam and put on a full face of makeup. This is it. This is a finished look or the finished two looks with a full face of makeup. Now I'm going to put on my glasses and go through what I have on. As a foundation, I am wearing the Pat McGrath Light Medium 8. 
On my cheeks, I have a little bit of the nude honey bronzer. I bronzed up my face a little bit. And of course, I am wearing a blush also. And that's a Nymphette from Pat McGrath Labs. And uh, I put on a little bit of a highlighter from the Bloom palette from Natasha Denona. And it's a blush palette. And I think I, the highlighter is called Glow Extreme. On my lips, I am wearing the Dream Lover Matte Trans Lipstick from Pat McGrath. And on top of that, I put on a little bit of Dreamscape. So it was not too orangey for me. So these are the two different looks. Uh, these are my takes on the, the Yucca palette. I think it's a beautiful palette. And uh, I really love the palette because I love green. I simply adore greens. And of course, I love Natasha Denona's uh, eyeshadows in general. She has um, some lovely textures that are easy to work with and blend out and blend together. And yeah, they're really fun to work with. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or good ideas for future content, please put it in the comment box. And of course, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. It'll be awesome to have you join. Now, I wanna thank you so, so much for taking your time out of your day to watch this video. And I hope to see you again soon. And till then, have an awesome day. Thank you so much. Bye. Mwah.